Jonah Hill is trying to get canceled. The women are trying to cancel him. And for no good reason, yet again, women are coming out of the woodworks calling Jonah Hill toxic. Toxic masculinity. All these different, you know, the same playbook being played over and over and over again. It's, they don't switch the shit up. So, before we get too far into this video, you guys like the video, the likes are free, free of charge. Um, if you guys want to support the show, all the ways you can support the show are in the description below. So I'm reading the article, watching videos about it. And Once again, I can't find where Jonah Hill went wrong. The only place I can see he went wrong is in selecting a woman that would throw him under the bus like this, right? So Jonah Hill is talking to this woman and this woman is outraged and does and shows the text messages between him and um, or her and Jonah and I come to the conclusion that Jonah doesn't like the fact that his girlfriend at the time was, was doing was showing her body on the internet He was setting boundaries. And that's what anybody should do in a relationship, man or woman. Everybody has their deal records. Everybody has their um, things they don't like, right? Pet peeves, all of the above. So I'm sitting back watching this stuff, reading this stuff, and I'm like, why are people so outraged about men having boundaries now? It's like, it's the same thing with this Kiki Palmer stuff. Pretty much the exact same situation. She wants to do what she wants to do, be serenaded by Usher, wear scantily clad outfits, and still run back and be a girlfriend and be a baby mom. She wants to play the relationship, but also play the side of being a 304. Women are so out of order right now that they don't even respect men's boundaries now. They have no boundaries. They have no regulation. Women today honestly believe they can be in a relationship and still flirt with other guys and be okay. And still talk to other guys and that'll be okay. Be in a whole relationship 
but advertise like she's single. And everything would be okay. This is that have my cake and eat it too type bullshit thinking. This is, I'm trying to, when you see stuff like this, when you read stories like this, when things like this pop up in the news, you have to, as, well, let me say this. As a man, you try to make sense of the situation. But when you try to make sense of the situation, you get a headache you get confused because there is no logic there is no making sense of this behavior you have women on the internet saying that it's okay to cheat in relationships it's okay to do what you want Right? It's okay to do what you want until he puts a ring on your finger. So if that's the case, why are women complaining about men cheating on them? If that's the logic. They can't compute that. Women only see their point of view. They can't see our, our point of view. They can't see the overall argument for what it is and how stupid it is. It's becoming more and more evident that Western society is over with you're gonna to have to find, it's gonna be hard for you guys to find, I said this in the video before, it's gonna be hard for us guys to find a modern woman in this culture that is wifey material. I mean, I, I recently had, I was talking to a guy the other day that I respect and I look up to in a way. And he was talking to a woman this guy's like, you know, 10, 20, 30 years older than me. Um, he was talking to a woman and then he noticed a switch in her or switch in her behavior. You know, we were co conversing back and forth about it. And so, there's a reason why women change up their behavior and they start dressing up to work and all this type of different stuff. When before she was just dressing up, you know, just casually and just doing the bare minimum. There's another lion. There's another bull in the ring. There's somebody she finds attractive at the job that she's excited to see every day. And she wants to look the best for that guy. This is going on, not just in our age group, but in different age groups. And that guy had to set a boundary and cut her off. At every age group, this is, this mind state has penetrated through and gotten it and contaminated the women. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm not saying you guys can't do it. But you guys are going to be pressed for finding good relationships in today's world.
And if you are in a relationship and it's going good, keep your ass in that damn relationship. Because once you get out of this, once you get out of that relationship, you're gonna realize how upside down the world actually is. So that's my video. You guys like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you like the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. We're out.